Let's Hand Fam. It's another edition of Let's Get Lit. And we're talking to authors of some of the most anticipated books of the year. Now, one of the most talked about books out right now is Promise Boys. On the surface, it serves up as a classic whodunit when a principal at an elite prep school is murdered during a basketball game and three students become suspects. But the author, award-winning filmmaker and former teacher Nick Brooks puts the whole genre through the lens of racial bias and asks the reader, you, us, this question about everything, including the education system itself and the lens in which we see certain people. Please welcome Nick Brooks to the TAM fan. Mm. You have had such an incredible career. You received the George Lucas Scholar Award for your short film, yeah. Hoop Dreamin'. Yeah. You've worked on big projects. Yeah, yeah he's legit, <laughs> legit. Um, you've worked on big projects like Mike Session, The Mandalorian. Uh, and then you transition. This is a big leap from working yeah. in television and yeah. film to the literary world, especially in such a powerful way. Yeah. What was the moment that compelled you yeah. to write this book? Yeah, for sure. Well, I've always been a storyteller. You know, um, I went to USC film school, as you mentioned, in 2017. I graduated in 2020. Wow. And of course, we know what happens in, in 2020, right? Yes. You feel me? Everything shuts down, industry shuts down. I just you know, spent all this time and money going through this program, this rigorous program. I made a bunch of films, worked on a bunch of great projects, um, and I didn't know where my future was headed. And so uh, the one thing I know how to do is write. Yeah. And so everything shuts down, and I open my computer, and I start writing. I mentioned to the audience you're a former educator, yeah. and you open this book with a quote. You start the book with a quote from another author and educator, John Taylor Gatto, you say, and, and this is the yeah. quote. Schools and schooling are increasingly irrelevant to the great enterprises of the planet. No one believes anymore that scientists are trained in science classes or politicians in civics classes or poets in English classes. The truth is that schools don't really teach anything except how to obey orders. Yeah. I mean, That's fire. You, you open with a bang. Yeah, 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 you yeah. open with a bang. Why was it important to open in that way and set the stage in that way? Well, because there's, there's no secret that, that uh, kids in my community, there's, a, there's an achievement gap between mm -hmm. them and their more affluent, mostly white peers. And so being an educator and, and seeing that choices were consistently being made that didn't serve students, it always bothered me. And so when I got into USC, I made it a, a, a conscious choice to, to make it my platform to tell the stories of the kids that I taught and inspire them to tell their own stories as well. Well, this is one story. I mean, it's a mystery, as I said, and it, the premise, obviously, the principal yeah. is murdered. Who did it? It is yeah. truly a thriller. And at different times in the book, you truly don't know. Yeah. You, you, you make everyone suspicious, yeah. but at the same time, you ask us, are we suspecting them for the wrong reasons? 100%, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 thank you, yeah, very true, I mean, even from my own experience as an educator, you know, when I would meet kids, I would hear things about them from community members, other teachers. And every time I met that kid, it was always love, you know? And so much like uh, Promise Boys, I wanted to put the reader in that same shoes. You come in, you suspect all of these things from these kids. Mm. And then when you meet them, you see that they're just black boys. We have the black and bookish Tam Fam Club joining us now from Maryland. They're not too far from where the book takes place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, ladies. Linda, what's your question for Nick? It's clear you took great care to develop each of the main characters, JB, Trey, and Ramon. Was there a character in which you related to the most? I mean, all of the characters are amalgamations of kids that I've taught. All of them have pieces of me. Um, JB was the first character I wrote, so I think naturally he, ha he has the, the most of, of, of Nick in him, so uh, I'd say JB, but in, in totality, like I said, all the kids are really close to my heart. Oh, wow. I, I don't even know how you're going to answer this question, but I've been told you have some news for us. Fortunately, because I have the film background, we're, we're going to be adapting Promise Boys for TV. Um, oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We've landed at uh, Netflix, and um, I'll be writing with my co-writer and producer. So, so Netflix, and you're writing it? Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've already written the book, now yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah. the screen adaptation. <laughs> yeah. No matter who you are, no matter where you live, no matter the shade of the skin that you live in, it is a compelling read, and it will, I promise you, at some point, you're going to stop and think about how we see people yeah. and the consequences of when you see people the wrong way. Yeah. It is powerful. Yeah. Congratulations thank you, thank you, thank on you. this book.
Thank you to the Black and Bookish Tam Fam Club. I love y'all. I gotta come and see you. All right. So here's the deal. Promise Boys is available now, and our studio audience, you're getting a copy of the book. Get ready. No.